cyber attacks, fake videos, replacing lots of jobs, the short-term risks, things like discrimination and bias. I wish I'd thought sooner about what was going to happen. So there's kind of two kinds of risks of AI. There's relatively short-term risks, which are very important and very urgent, and they're mainly to do with people misusing AI. People are still in charge, but they're misusing it. The risks include things like replacing lots of jobs and causing a increase in the gap between the rich and the poor because when productivity increases using AI it's not shared equally. Some people lose their jobs and other people get rich. So that's bad for society. We need to figure out what to do about that although it's not clear what to do. Another kind of risk is fake videos where they'll corrupt elections. They're already doing that. So cyber attacks where bad actors use these big AI models for crafting better attacks. So last year, phishing attacks went up 1,200%, probably largely because the large language models can make them much more effective. There's other short-term risks. There's obviously things like discrimination and bias. I think actually for discrimination and bias, it's going to be much easier to measure them in AI systems than in people. And I think our goal should be not to make things that don't discriminate and aren't biased. Our aim should be to make things that discriminate a lot less and are a lot less biased than the systems they replace. There's also a longer term problem of these things taking over. So the question is, what's going to happen when we've created beings that are more intelligent than us? My guess is, in between 5 and 20 years from now, there's a good chance, a 50% chance, we'll get AI smarter than us. But because we really don't know, it will make a lot of sense to do a lot of basic research now on whether we can stay in control. The system you've got at the end has extracted its structure from the data. It's not something that anybody programmed. We don't exactly know how it's going to work. And it'll be like us. Making these systems behave in a reasonable way is much like making a child behave in a reasonable way. You can reinforce, you can reward it for good behavior, punish it for bad behavior. Um, but the main control you have is demonstrating good behavior training it on good behavior. So that's what it observes and that's what it mimics. And it's the same for these systems. And so it's very important we train them on the kind of behavior that we would like to see in them. I think the scientists have a much better understanding of what this technology is than politicians do or the, or the general public do. Um, the scientists still disagree. So there's still some scientists who say, these big chatbots, they don't really understand what they're saying. But my view is they understand, and they understand in much the same way we do.